Welcome to Game Theory. Today we are going to solve a 2x2 two two game with no saddle point using the Ottman method. So here we have a 2x2 two two matrix of player X and player Y strategies with two rows and two columns respectively. Let's begin by finding the row minimum. So we have 2 and 1 and the column maximum is 4 and 5. Now let's find the maximum of the row minimum and that is 2. Let's find the minimum of the column maximum which is 4. So as we see here, maximum is not equal to minimax. Okay. I've explained what is maximum and minimax in my previous videos. So the game is a mixed game. Okay. It is a mixed game. So unlike the pure game which has a saddle point, this is a mixed game with no saddle point. Now in a pure game, each of the players has one best strategy while in a mixed game each player can use a combination of both the strategies the next step is to find the oddment since we are going to solve this game using the oddment method and the formula for finding the oddment is to subtract the elements of the second row 4 minus 1 that is equal to 3 and 2 minus 5 which also is equal to 3. Now you need to ignore the sign while finding the odd means. Let's do the same for player y. So you need to subtract the elements of the second column 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 and the elements of the first column that is 2 minus 4, which is equal to 2. Now you need to ignore the sign while finding the oddments. Next, we're going to find the probability of player x, and that is denoted by p1 and p2. And the formula to find the probability is oddment divided by the total oddment so for p1 we have the oddment that is 3 divided by total oddment 3 plus 3 which is 6 so we have 3 by 6 and that equals 1 by 2 and p2 will be oddment which is 3 again divided by 6 which equals 1 by 3. Now let's find the probability of player y. So here again, oddment, that is 4 divided by the total oddment, which is 6. So 4 divided by 6 is 2 by 3. And again, 2 divided by total oddment 6 that is again 1 by 3 the next important step is to find the value of the game v so the formula for that is oddment 1 which is 3 into a which is 2 plus Oddment 2 again is 3 into C is 4. So that is equal to 6 plus 12. 6 plus 12 which is equal to 18 divided by the total oddment is 6. So 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3. So that is the value of the game for player X. 
The next step is to find the value of the game for player Y and the formula is oddman3 which is 4 into A 4 into A that is 2 plus oddman4 which is 2 into B which is 5 so 4 sorry a 2 oddman4 is 2 so 2 into 5 2 into 5 hope you can see that so this is 8 plus 10 which again is 18 18 by the total oddment which is 4 plus 2 which is 6 again so we have 18 divided by 6 which is 3 okay hope you guys can see that 3 so we have the value of the game for player x and y now let's write down the values of p1 and p2 so p1 here is 1 by 2 and p2 is also 1 by 2 q1 is 3 by sorry 2 by 3 and q2 is 1 by 3 so these are the probabilities of player x and y strategies therefore the probability of player x is p1 that is 1 by 2 and the probability of player y is q1 2 by 3 so this means that out of two trials player x chooses his first strategy once and out of three trials player y chooses his first strategy twice and the value of the game is three to summarize this is a mixed game with no saddle point which means maximum is not equal to minimax and we have solved this problem using the oddman method to find the oddman we need to subtract the elements of the rows and column and write the value ignoring the signs and we have used the oddman to find the probability of each of the players choosing either one of the strategies and using the oddman we have found the value of the game Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and happy learning.